many people we got here that like, grew up in a small town? So, like, oh, my, my dream is, you know, I fucking want to be this guy, being a fucking rock star, but no, I'm a, I'm a high school man. That, that was your problem. <laughs> Telling it, I'd rather just sing. He'll get you, don't worry. Yeah. 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 I know. That's just what I'm doing. <laughs> I know. You know, just really fortunate. You know? Left small town. Went to California, Texas, came back. I didn't think it was going to work for me. I was struggling as an acoustic artist and, and uh, you know, I stayed at it. And got with some great people and it's catching on. And uh, just like I said, we're, as a band, man, we're super fortunate. And it's been great and I hope that people give us a listen, give us an honest listen, come to a show. And, uh, you know, do your thing. Just do your thing. Be true to yourself. Fuck it. Alright, well let's talk about fucking fucking and cocaine, shall we? Getting ready for our show at Cause in Uptown. <laughs> Great little venue. Well, um, actually, was our, where our debut show was, and uh, we're pretty excited. So we're kind of, you know, going out tonight, got a little limo, and just gonna have a little fun, and uh, just gonna kick it with our fans and, and put on a good show tonight. Uh, Fine line. Oh, it was just so nonchalant. You're just like screaming and eventually you fucking puke and <laughs> Fuck man, sound my voice is killing right now. On stage you do Rock and roll Kennedy. I got a traveling green room. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> you got rid of the green room here. Right? Yeah, I can get to do a show. I love she played a fucking hairdresser. Okay. As well as musician. Yeah. <laughs> if I could get an IV bag of this shit in the morning, my life would be a lot better. Come on, get in. Yeah, come on. We're going to Kyle. We're, get in. Going we're, we're only going a block away. Come on. <laughs> Our parents are coming to get us because yeah. we were staying at the bus stop. <laughs> we were shopping at the bus stop. Good accounts. Good accounts. I don't think they're in the way. I really want to bridge rock and roll with uh, high fashion and hair. That's totally not existing anymore. The term rock and roll has been completely sold, uh, but is no ex no longer existent in, in that venue. And uh, we want to be the band that changes that. Yeah, it's been it's been great. Uh, it happened really fast. I was gonna make an acoustic record, and uh, uh, Aaron was like, uh, you know, he was wanted a drum, so we got together, and, and uh, Aaron's like, put down that acoustic, bro. Before this thing got started, I was kind of like out of music, and I recorded this little track acoustic with Mr. Brian Mangi, and Aaron said, "Hey, I want to play drums," and then all of a sudden, fucking this happened. And so I picked up the electric guitar, and then it it, it just kind of took form, and then it all of a sudden, fucking this happened. And so I picked up the electric guitar, and then it just kind of took form, and then it all of a sudden, fucking this happened. And so I picked up the electric guitar, and then it just kind of took form, and then it all of a sudden, fucking this happened. 
on the Varsity Theater and the Fine Line and stuff, which are yeah, they're great venues. So we've been very fortunate and uh, very grateful for the fan support that we have. It's been growing like crazy. <laughs> This ledge calling itself home, home to me. Drink champagne and There's stuff going on, like the music scene that way. Um, God bless on the artists, yeah, the geniuses in every genre, but rock and roll needs to come back to that venue. Yeah, we play, if we I need to ban, I want to plant the fucking flag in yeah, that venue. So uh, uh, make sure to check us out, and uh, we'll have more for you, I'm sure. Right. Take it easy. Yeah. Treasure Chest is uh, an amazing breast cancer charity locally here in Minneapolis, but they do some bigger national stuff too. Rock and Gabba, baby. So they can die on TV now. When we kind of put this together, we need to team up with the charity and make it a bigger event, like bigger than us. This is a special one, and um, breasts, well, I, we're huge fans of those, so I figured we should, probably should do something to like, <laughs> maybe help it out a little. Uh, we went out to Denver, and then we did like, Couple nights in uh, San Diego, 710 and House of Blues. And we spent a couple nights in Hollyweird. 